Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsorry.com. Today the topic of our discussion is feedback inhibition or allosteric modulation of enzymes. Enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up the chemical reaction by reducing activation energy without undergoing any change by itself. Let's start with an example. Suppose this is a substrate. This is the first substrate and we have the enzyme. In enzyme there are two sites. One is called as the active site where the substrate binds and the other is called as the allosteric site. Active site is the three-dimensional region where the substrate binds to form enzyme substrate complex. Later it transforms it into a product. Allosteric site is three-dimensional regulatory site of an enzyme other than active site. On binding of substrate to this allosteric site induces a conformational change often causes a conformational change in the active site also. So let's begin with, so this is a substrate 1 and that binds to the active site of enzyme 1. And there will be a formation of enzyme substrate complex that is followed by the formation of a product. Suppose this is product A. And there will be an enzyme 2 that is having an active site that is, that is having match with this product A. And this product A will bind to the active site of enzyme 2 formation of this enzyme substrate complex and that will be transformed to a product and we'll be getting a product B. Then there will be enzyme 3 and this B will bind to the active site of enzyme 3 and the resulting product is C. And this C will act as a substrate for enzyme 4 and this is the final product. So this end product is no longer required inside the cell. This end product will bind to the allosteric site of enzyme 1. As we discussed earlier, allosteric site is a site other than the active site. On binding of this substrate or end product to this allosteric site causes a conformational change on the active site. So now we have the substrate. If the substrate tries to bind to the enzyme 1, the active site has changed due to the binding of the end product to the allosteric site. Thus, the further production of product A is blocked, thereby blocking the production of the end product. And this is called as feedback inhibition, where the end product of the process will bind to the allosteric site, causing a conformational change on the enzyme 1. Therefore, further production of that particular product is inhibited. And this is how in a cell, accumulation of certain products will be controlled by feedback inhibition mechanism. Hope you got the point. Thank you so much for watching. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.